Hello, my name is Larry Mitchell. I'm with Summit X-Ray Company, and I'm going to show you how to export images out of XScan32 onto CD-ROM, so the so they can be uh, imported into a PAC system. For instance, your radiologist. Okay, what I want you to do first is go to the C drive of your computer, and I want you to click on File, New Folder. I want to create a new folder. We'll just call it CD Burn. Hit enter. Okay, so we have our directory here. So let's get this out of the way right now. I already have XCAN32 open. What I want to do first is I want to click on a uh, patient. I want to click on edit. I want to copy the name out. Just want to copy it. Now I want to open that patient. And there we have some images. They're already highlighted. What I want to do now is I want to go to File, Export, Export Images. And I want to go ahead and paste the patient's name. That will get incremented by f four times: uh, uh, one, two, three, four for the four images we have. I want to click on uh, Save as Type. Scroll down to DICOM. I want to scroll to the directory where we uh, that we just created. I created it in the local C. There it is, CD Burn. I'm gonna double click on that. Okay, so now I have an open directory, and I have the name in here, and it says CD-ROM. I mean, it says. Uh, uh, DICOM files so now I can save it and it's exporting those images out there's the, the four images it's exporting out so let's uh, uh, this is done exporting and you can um, they're not currently uh, being burned they're just being stored Okay, so I'll click on uh, this patient. I'll click Edit, his name, and, and and then open the patient. Okay, there's one image. So File, Export, Export Images. Now our directory, our CD Burn directory, should pop up. Yes, it did. Okay, we have the four images we've already started with. Okay, there we just pasted the, the, the last one we're going to do. It says DICOM still, and we save. So it's exported the, those images. Okay, now that that's done, we can bring up our uh, My Computer again. Go to our CD burn drive that we created. Okay, and here is here are our images, uh, our five images that we had copied to the directory. They need to be uh, written to CD-ROM now. So what I've done is I've already put a CD-ROM in the in the drive, so that uh, it'll be ready to accept the files as soon as we copy them over. So what we want to do is we want to say Edit. We want to say Select All. Then you want to say Edit again. Now you want to say move to. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it to, I believe this is my uh, my drive uh, for the CD-ROM, iDrive. Yours is going to be something different. If I now go, see it just moved those images. So now if I go to the um, to the CD-ROM, that again was the iDrive.
and there they are. Now they need to be permanently written, written to the CD-ROM. It says right here, files are ready to be written. So all you do is right here, click on write these files to CD. That'll burn them to CD and uh, uh, the, the CD will pop out of the uh, drive as soon as it's, as it's completed and you can send them off uh, to the radiologist and see if, if, uh, if he can read them. Um, if he cannot read them there may be uh, an issue with these images are uh, stored in 16-bit format. Uh, if, if his software does not read 16-bit, I will put another tutorial on how to convert uh, the images to 12-bit. It's, it's quite simple. You just a couple settings inside the ICRCO machine. So uh, give this a try. Let me know how it goes. My name is Larry Mitchell. I'm with Summit X-Ray Company. My number is 310. 505-7805. Thank you.